Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, guys. As uh, promised today, a video about do I doubt Bitcoin? Welcome to the Bitcoin Family YouTube channel. For the newcomers, my name is Didi. Yes, I went all into Bitcoin six years ago. Uh, I already started mining in 2013, but in 2016 and 17, we decided as a family to sell our house, our companies, our cars, everything else, go all into Bitcoin and never use bank accounts again. Now, six years later now we are still all in bitcoin and we still don't have bank accounts and we still don't have any possessions the question that i receive daily now is like why don't you diversify your capital from bitcoin and all these other asset classes because all the other bitcoin influencers the bigger ones all the ones that you are following with millions of followers they already all have a bank account they already all bought houses they're already buying huge big ass cars they diversify their bitcoins into other stuff materialistic stuff and now the question is why didn't we as a family yet do this do i ever doubt bitcoin so I'm going to talk about that question today while I will be walking some circles here around my pool because I don't want to go to the beach a little bit too windy at the beach now for the sound and I want this to be very clear. Now, it's very simple. We choose not to go out of Bitcoin because we really believe that Bitcoin is the best asset out there that is outperforming all other asset classes that are possible in this world. So why would I sell my precious Bitcoin into houses or into jewelry or into cars because they will not be performing as well as Bitcoin as a class. And because Bitcoin is outperforming all of them, I can be using all of those items by renting them, by lending them and all that stuff. So we don't need to own them to feel happy because we are, all, we are already happy. That's steady. Does that mean that I never doubt Bitcoin? Of course not. There is always a little bit doubt, but there is no doubt about the technology. I truly believe that the Bitcoin technology is the most uh, peaceful revolution that we will experience in our lives, my lives, my kids' lives, because this is going to change the whole monetary system of this world. And we are part of that. And yes, I do think that a centralized monetary system is um, not good anymore. We can see what is happening to the world. We can see that there is more and more inflation. We can see that more and more people have problem, problems surviving because they are in fiat currencies like euro and dollar. So yes, for me, Bitcoin is still the king when it comes to replacing that monetary system out there into a decentralized one uh, where governments or any other centralized entity don't have control. Why should they have control on the money supply? They already have control on everything what is legal or not legal because of the law that they write. They have control on that stuff. I do think that there needs to, needs to be a decouplement of the government and the money in that we are using. They do need control on the money. We as people can pretty well take care of this because we now have a decentralized technology that is like 10,000 times better than that centralized fiat scheme that they are using to suppress us. That's the only reason. If you use their money, they will be in control. If you use our money, they won't be in control. That is why I believe fully in Bitcoin. That is why I'm all in in Bitcoin. Yes, we don't have bank accounts. So for us, it's difficult uh, to buy a house like this one or to buy some other real estate because you need to pay mostly by money. We can only afford to buy apartments or real estate or any other asset if we can directly pay with Bitcoin because we are all in. Now. Do I doubt about the technology? That answer is very clear. No fucking way. Bitcoin is the one and only king. Bitcoin is going to rule the whole monetary system, in my opinion, and it's going to give us the freedom that we need when it comes to spending funds and capital to whom we want, where we want, and how we want. So for me, Bitcoin is the king there. Do we as a family doubt about diversifying now and then into, uh, for example, real estate? Yes, of course. Of course, we sometimes think when Bitcoin is in the bull run top and Bitcoin is 60k, oh, shouldn't we now exchange three of our Bitcoins or four of our Bitcoins for a beautiful house so we never need to rent again? And these doubts, they are natural. And I think everyone has those doubts. I still believe that Bitcoin will be outperforming those houses. And I still believe we will be living a decentralized nomad life where uh, it is not necessary to own a house because that house will only be used like for two or three months a year by us and the rest, you know, we won't be there. But then the argument again is, yeah, but you could rent out the house. You could even monetize the house then and make some stable income from renting out the house. I know that a lot of people are doing this. I know a lot of people are diversifying into gold and into stocks and do all that stuff. 
and we still didn't do it because we still feel like we don't want to be stuck somewhere we don't want to be buying a house in a country that then does a lockdown and forces you to stay in a house or forces you to stay out of the house or forces you to wear a mask when you go out of the house and we we won't we don't want to be stuck we don't want to be stuck in this kind of strange situation where we we are, where we lose control on our capital and our assets and for me bitcoin at the moment is the only asset that we have full control full control nobody can take our bitcoins nobody can take them nobody can force me not to use them nobody can do anything to my bitcoins if i have a house yes the government of that country where the house is on that land is the owner of that land is even the owner of the house if they want because they at the end they determine if you need to be in or out or locked down or whatever they are at the end the boss you are not in control anymore and i don't like that feeling where those centralized entities that are fucking us over already for years have control on me and that is probably the main reason why we as a family don't own shit because we don't own shit there is no possibility of control on our family we only own bitcoins and we use shit shit like houses like this beautiful house on the back we use it for a couple of months and then we move on if they want to take it take it i'm gone it's not mine and i think that is the biggest difference between we as the bitcoin family and all the other huge influencers that i deeply respect for everything they are doing for the industry but they do want some diversification of their assets they don't want to be full in bitcoin they want to have a house and they want to build a future in stones and they want to have some jewelry and they want to have some cars because they really believe that they also have value and they they are not that hateful <laughs> to towards centralized entities like i am probably so will there be a moment that we as a family decide um, maybe to diversify our bitcoins in the future i don't know I can only tell you how I feel at the moment and at the moment I don't feel like diversifying our capital into these assets that have centralized control. We want to live a decentralized lifestyle, the real Bitcoin standard with no intervenience from centralized entities. And if in the future there will be a possibility to buy into a beautiful blockchain concept in a decentralized way and that I become part owner of a beautiful blockchain village that of course would be a solution for us to buy into that yes because if somebody would start a blockchain city or a blockchain village or a blockchain hotel where decentralized uh, ownership is possible in a way that we have a DAO and that we do proposals and voting on everything that um, um, concerns this village uh, then I would be happy to invest some bitcoins in that and live in a beautiful decentralized way with multiple same-minded people that think the same way about not owning a full hardcore real estate building or house but just partial ownership because it can be registered with smart contracts with smart contracts on the blockchain that could be something in the far future guys but for now still all in bitcoin still bankless still traveling the world already for seven years now with my family there is a documentary on the way guys that's going to be streamed on the biggest streaming platform of the world it has been following us already for two years now it will follow us another couple of months to show why we still don't want to own stuff why we really believe in bitcoin why we really believe in a different lifestyle education and all the stuff that concerns our family now um, i hope you really enjoyed this video today if you did enjoy the video give it a thumbs up share it with your friends and family subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell and leave a comment let me know down below do you understand why we are still all in do you understand my mindset and do you understand um, also do you respect or understand that other influencers that really are hardcore bitcoin influencers did diversify into houses what is your opinion about that let me know down below thank you for watching and see you tomorrow again bam